Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today I have a really interesting and unusual video for you guys. Not long ago, my client's thumbnails were injured. My client had experienced small injuries before with her other nail tech, but never anything like this. Along her nail blades, we can see many uneven waves. And though these waves are mainly in the middle of her left hand's thumbnail, the thumbnail on her right hand is much more damaged. So how exactly did this happen? I'll be explaining that here shortly. I want to bring attention to two areas. One, the super pronounced lunula, which covers almost half of the nail. Take a look at the lunula on your nails. It's the small crescent moon shape by the cuticle. It's not very spread out, is it? And though it is natural for the lunula to be a bit larger on the thumbnails, they typically don't look like the lunula on my client's nails. Second, the proximal nail fold, which is pretty much gone. This area is super opened and rather inflamed. For those of you who may not know, the proximal nail fold acts as a seal and it protects our nail's matrix. And the nail matrix is where the new cells are being formed. Injuries like these typically do occur on the thumbnails. Because the lunula, which is part of the matrix, is naturally larger on your thumbnails, it makes these nails much more vulnerable to injuries. In other words, pressure applied to my client's thumbnails resulted in these defects. The challenging part today will be the cleanup, as we do have to be extremely careful to clean up, but we also have to file everything thoroughly, otherwise the product won't adhere to the natural nail. Therefore, with my nail drill and nail file, I'm carefully filing each and every wave in our nail. Now, as for her other thumbnail, my client told me that the situation with her nail had worsened after visiting one nail tech. She told me that the nail tech seemed to be a bit in a rush and during the cleanup applied a lot of pressure near the cuticle, which resulted in the nail splitting. This part right here is actually part of her nail and not her skin, which of course is really uncomfortable and bothersome to my client. Today, I'm going to be very careful cleaning up, checking with my client that she isn't experiencing any discomfort and further creating extensions. By properly covering these nails and product, we'll be able to encourage the natural nail to grow out smoothly and evenly. Then with a ball bit, I'm smoothening out the right side of her nail. I will also try to seal this area with product so that the nail won't cling to anything. Further, I'm dehydrating her nail, applying a primer and a base coat. I'm using a rubber base coat for gel polish and applying it in a thin layer. My client's birthday is coming up and she wants her nails to look long and beautiful. Of course, I won't be doing a lot of length on her thumbnails, but we will keep them all uniformed by having them in a shorter soft square shape. Because of the extreme waves in this nail, we will need to use a little more product than usual. Therefore, I won't be using Builder Gel on this nail in order not to cause my client any discomfort with heat spikes. 
So for this now, I'm using polygel. Polygel doesn't have a heat spike underneath the lamp, and another reason I'm using different products on her thumbnails is to see which one works better for her. And here they are. We also decided to have these nails semi-transparent in order to keep a better eye on them. I also completed a really pretty design on her other nails, which I will be sharing in another video. Two weeks have passed, so let's see how her nails are doing underneath the product. The inflammation is gone and we can even see some healthy cuticle. And the split on the side of her nail has grown out and hasn't spread out any further. I was super happy to see that. Now for our second refill. Two refills in one video, especially for you guys. This time I'm buffing her nails down with the rougher side of the buffer. Then with my nail drill and a ball bit, I'm filing down the unevenness and carefully cleaning up the sides of the cuticle with a flame bit. Then I'm dehydrating her nails, applying a primer, a base coat, and our poly gel. But this time, we won't be creating length on the free edge. This will make it more comfortable for my client, and once her nail has fully healed, we'll be able to add some beautiful length. I contacted my client after about a week to see how everything was going. She sent me some pictures, and as you can see by her cuticle, the natural nail is growing out nice and evenly. I cannot wait for her next refill. I hope you all liked today's video and found it helpful, and if you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up, and until next time.